Sir David Attenborough is undoubtedly a national, if not global treasure. And it's not just us here at Incredible Oceans that think that. He has inspired so many of the world's natural scientists that it's not a surprise that a number of marine species have been named after Sir David. From the rare Madagascan ghost shrimp to fossilized fish from Australia, even his own species of plesiosaur, all of these carry Attenborough's name. But most recently, scientists from UCL identified a new species of phytoplankton, calling it Cyracosphera Azuria planita, after the landmark BBC Blue Planet series. Azuria planita is part of a group of phytoplankton called coccolithophores, single-celled plants that produce tiny shields called coccoliths to protect them from predators. At only 5 microns in diameter, these coccolithophores are microscopic. To give you an idea of just how small they are, here's a human hair for comparison. But despite being tiny, blooms of coccolithophores can form in such high numbers that they can actually be seen from space. Once the bloom has finished, the coccolithophores sink to the seafloor and slowly build up over millions of years, eventually turning to chalk. As a big plankton fan, Sir David was invited along to UCL to marvel at the new species discovered. Oh, I think they're marvelling. I think they're stunning. What about the one named after Blue Planet? This little one here. I'm not sure about the likeness, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> but that's where you're wrong, Sir David. If you look closely, you'll see that Azuria Planeta looks exactly like you. 